data so you can actually collide it and the collision that is from the fast context geometry which is in a kind of a low res resolution right now but it will be okay and for the behavior type if we actually put it under stick on collision so stick on collision or stop on collision pretty much should do the same thing if I'm not wrong but I'll just do stick on collision so that they just stop and I'm gonna drop in a force so that way they drop we can give it uh, gravity pretty much and gravity is a 9.8 uh, in real world values and I'm gonna just drop in the scale to anything that you feel like and usually if you realize I never give any values for anything I just drop values however I feel like it's gonna be so if I play this now ooh, they go up but I actually wanna make them go down and I probably wanna add a drag to that cause they're going up like so fast so now I'm gonna go ahead and actually reduce this to something lower cause uh, I think uh, it's too strong so well that's not really what we want but uh, I guess we're gonna have to check on something let's go back to the attributes over here mass is a point it's a float go back inside let's do force directly let's play that okay well that force is still too strong so we're gonna say two and we're gonna play that I don't know where this point is coming from, but it's getting birth after that fact. But it's okay. Let's assume that that's actually, actually going to work for us. So um, you can see how it actually falls down. So that's part one pretty much of setting up the little system over here, of which somehow might be working to an advantage, but I really can't tell. Now let's go back to the second part of creating the attributes as a... Uh, attribute create right here we're going to create an attribute right here which is going to join uh, we're going to link up to the grid so we're going to create an attribute called uh, what you want to call it we're going to call it um, my viz or something and we're going to give it a value of zero and default is zero so that's okay and I'm, I'm lazy so I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to create a new attribute create on this side and I'm going to also give it a value name of my viz, but I'm going to give it a value of one in this particular instance. So that way you have one side of the grid, this side having a value of zero, and this side where the particles are having a value of one for the my viz um, attribute. Now we're going to be dealing with more attribute nodes. So an attribute transfer in our case is kind of mandatory. The attribute that we want to transfer to uh, the object 2 is the grid so in our case if you actually middle mouse click on this geometry to transfer attributes to is actually the grid and from is from the particles over here now the settings I'm really not going to give you no settings but uh, for one my base is what you want to transfer in this actually in the points and uh, distance is not that high and the blend width is kind of low and pretty much you might have to play with the points a little bit but in that case that probably might work to your advantage so you're gonna have to play with the uh, over this with all these numbers a little bit I'd encourage you to actually play with those now to visualize this under attribute one more time if you go to we get a paint node over here which you can actually visualize our attribute and uh, it paints stuff, but we actually don't want to paint stuff. Actually, in our case, we want to override the color, which is actually CD with our attribute over here, which is actually called my viz, which, uh, as usual, I'm lazy like that. I'm going to just go ahead and paste the value over here and paste it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase my grid over here resolution to 100 by 100. So that way you can have a little bit detailed and I'm going to go ahead and play this if it actually does do the correct thing. And for one, you want to visualize the data, obviously. So here's the visualize attribute range. So if you play this, uh, you can see how it does the thing. But our 
attribute transfer is actually kind of high so you want to reduce that and I think I'm gonna increase that read size all right actually probably want to reduce the font size a little bit let's visualize that so I'm gonna reduce it again you are you gonna everything's procedural so really there's no worries about the end result while you're working on it so there you have your logo so you have to play with the attribute transfer um, nodes over here till you get the kind of stuff that you might want I, I think we got a smooth transition right there so you might as well let that play and I think I like the values over there and well you might want to reset the M to a different value but uh, and for one actually you can also create a different kind of effect depending on how you actually uh, want to do the whole thing so let's say right after the resample over here we can drop in a sort node so that way we can have a different kind of instead of resetting the M we can actually reset the point to let's say proximity to point let's say and um, well let's see we got a transform on the top over there let's shake this off and we're gonna bring these guys up and then bring this eye over here now if I actually move this point to the negative x direction then in the negative y direction and then we look under the point numbers all the point numbers start from here going that way so you got a different kind of effect and now actually if you remember who this is actually completely procedural so everything still lines up exactly like you would want it to on the top so you know placement of nodes actually really does matter in Houdini so make sure you place your nodes correctly so now if actually if you play this one more time it's gonna play completely different from before so play this and now you can see the logo actually kind of plays in a little bit of a different manner is kind of neat and yep it forms from the left to the right so that's pretty good and pretty much now we got a data set up for manipulation and attribute wise so uh, now pretty much you can play with it in any given kind of way you can have points well let's even stop the app and let's do an attribute promote since we're gonna be dealing with um, a lot of points I uh, mean attributes. Let's do an attribute promote of the myviz from a point to a new class, which is actually primitive. So, since you're dealing with uh, now, we got a primitive class which is called myviz, and now you can actually let's say do a poly extrude. I would say, uh, and you can extrude in the z, which in our case will be in the z using the myviz attribute now you got a ILM logo which actually creates uh, of you know bubbles up from bubble up from what you call it bricks little bricks or something like that whatever you want to call it uh, little bricks so that's one idea that you might have uh, Another idea which you might have also is uh well now that, now that you got an attribute promote over here I can actually go ahead and branch it off again and drop in a pop net and and we're gonna check this out and drop in a source and we're gonna be using the fast context geometry and we're gonna be using what we got uh we got an attribute on the surface so it's called my viz <laughs> and I'm just lazy I got everything over there ready and we're gonna birth probably constant activation of a thousand points let's say and let's play this so you get the points being birthed from the point over there so I know background will change it